Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 30, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied today. And this could be um, probably a massive problem for, for not just... Uh, not for, for gold and commodities in a whole, but also equity markets and indices and so on. The US dollar star continues to appreciate. We'll see massive movements in major currency pairs and and uh, probably especially also in 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 um, in stocks and, and indices as uh, they are mutually uh, negative correlated with, with the US dollar. It kind of looks like we are going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. And if that occurs, then we will most likely see this go significantly higher, probably test the previous highs here up at the 93.45. We have some room to the upside, not a lot of room in here in the RSI before we become overbought, but we have a lot of room before we get to the top here of the bullish band. Technical indicators are all bullish at this current stage. We have a little bit of pullback as we reached the previous highs here from last week. But if we continue like this and take out these highs, then we're most likely going to go and test these previous highs here. So let's look at oil. So oil is has been pulling back today towards the 50 moving average and then uh, rallied quite significantly. And uh, now we're trading at the 73.80 at this current stage. So yes, we did have a pullback. I did expect a a bigger pullback uh, due to the fact that the RSI was uh, fairly high, but uh, but um, but no, this has been is a very resilient market, and every single time we get very close to the 20 exponential, it basically rallies. So we didn't really get all the way down to the 20 exponential, but we got down towards the 71.86, and then we rallied to the upside. Doesn't mean that we will have another pullback uh, in tomorrow's session, but we could have. But uh, 20 exponential is definitely a uh, supported level. And then if we have 70, we should be even more supported. And then we have the 50 moving average at the 67. So let's look at natural gas. Yes, we did get all the way up towards uh, 3.8. And then we had a massive break to the downside. So this is a a very negative candlestick and it was kind of about time that we saw something similar to this there is of course a shortage of natural gas in the heat wave in the united states and of course that can have these parabolical moves as we have seen in the last few days but usually when they cool off they just have another parabolical move to the downside and this is a horrible looking candlestick um and the reason for this is because we are way outside of the bullish band. We were we are still significantly overbought, and the market has to come back to uh, back to stabilization uh, around here at the top of this candlestick here or the twenty in the middle of the bullish band. So we could see this drop towards roughly three point three before going higher. Probably three point five. We will also see buyers come back in and push this higher. But uh, shortages in this market can make it completely parabolical, as we usually see in winter times uh, and so on. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is still bullish, but is, is turning around, and the RSI is flat and significantly overbought still. So let's look at copper. So copper market uh, continues to pull back and uh, yes, it is more likely that we'll drop back towards these previous lows at the 4.08 as the US dollar continues to appreciate and even towards 4 and towards the 200 moving average. So probably the target here is the 200 moving average as this market has been rallying for an entire year and has not managed to to have a significant pullback before going higher. This was a fairly parabolical move, both of these here. And uh, this is probably just a uh, good that the market falls towards the 200 moving average in order to uh, get more value out of this. So 
as the uh, as the world economy is going uh, back to uh, work, there is going to be a demand for copper, and that will certainly pull the uh, pressure this price up. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, in negative territory and flat. Stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well, with a lot of room to the downside, both in the RSI and also here in the bullish band before we found support. So let's look at gold. So gold is has been hammered today and is expected to get even more hammered as the US dollar continues to appreciate. So we have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average to the downside yet again. You have a crossing of the 20, 20 exponential and the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average. And if we were to rally, we would most certainly get rejected at the 20 exponential. If we rally up towards the 1800, we'll probably get rejected and we'll fall back towards these previous lows. That's kind of what it looks like at this moment. It is looking really dire for gold. However, we are getting also to the point where we are very oversold. So getting below 30, we'll probably see the uh, green currency up towards 1800 before going lower. Otherwise, technical indicators are looking uh, dreadful for uh, this market. Look at long term prospect for this market as well. We can see that we have a crossing here of the uh, MACD of the signal line in the weekly chart and that is not a very good sign last time we had that crossing here to the downside we basically fell roughly from the highs here of in uh, roughly 1964 all the way down towards the bottom roughly down here towards 1600 or 1700 so that is not a very good sign long term for uh, this market so we could see this drop back towards 1680 and probably all the way down to the 200 moving average at 1500. So let's look at silver. So silver is still struggling here at the 200 moving average and uh, we have broke down and rallied and we're still staying standing. We're still above the 200 moving average and as long as that is the case, then uh, there is hope that we may see a rally in this market. So the 20 exponential is racing towards the 200 moving average, and that is not a good sign. Last time we have the crossing of that, we have to go all the way back here. And then basically we saw this massive rally here. This was basically uh, back in, in the beginning of June last year, where we went from 17 all the way up towards roughly uh, $29. And uh, since then, we have been above. And if we were to break uh, below that, even the 50 moving average, that would be a very terrible sign for, for this market. If you look at technical indicators, we can say the MACD is bearish, the CASC is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat and at 35, which is fairly low. So we may see an attempt to rally up towards the 20 exponential. If that gets rejected, then we'll, we'll probably drop back towards the 200 moving average very fast. So let's look at platinum. So platinum got rejected at the 20 exponential, broke down, and at this point, it looks like we're going to test the previous lows here at 10.32. Technical indicators are all turned around for platinum, and uh, yes, 20 exponential is basically the resistant barrier for this market, and as long as that is the case, it will continue to drop. 20 will most likely cross the uh, 200 moving average, and the 50 will travel this way, 200 that way, and we'll mostly have a crossing of those two in the next two to three weeks. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has rallied up towards the middle of the Bullinger band, and the question is whether or not we get rejected here. If we do, then we'll probably drop back towards the 200 moving average. It looks like we are momentum is running out. We had this massive fall, rallied, uh, and then now it looks like we're going back towards uh, the very lows. So if you look at Fibonacci retracement, we can see that if we were to break above here, then we have the 50 at 22, uh, the 43, and then we have the 61.8 right here at the 50 moving average. So if we were to rally up towards this point, we'll definitely have a pullback when we get towards um, the 50 moving average, roughly at 28.05. Taking in the case, otherwise, MACD is bullish, the CASC is bullish, CCI is, uh, CCI is bearish, 
and RSI is flat. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium did rally up towards the previous highs here and then got really rejected by that. So we have a basically a double top here. So this area, roughly 2547, is a massive resistance. And at this point, we probably have a look. What we're looking at is a drop back towards uh, the middle of the bullish band at 2435. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So the uh, question is, we basically need to break above this level in order to go significantly higher, break below here, then we're dropping back towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at nickel. So nickel, uh, very similar here. We went up towards these previous highs here. We could basically put uh, roughly around this area is where we need to break above in order to get to 98,000. And if you were to break below the 20 and 50, then we'll probably go back towards the 200 moving average. We're kind of trading uh, sideways at this point where the highs are over here and the 200 moving average is basically the bottom of this range. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is bearish, CCI is, is bullish, but it's, it's turning around and RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. So sugar had a massive day yesterday, rallied a little bit and then broke down and then we rallied yet again. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bullish in bullish territory as well. Stochastic is bullish, CGI is bullish and the RSI is flat. So we may go back towards the previous highs here, roughly 17.99. If we get rejected there, then we'll most likely go just go sideways, which we have been doing. Uh, for the last um, two months. We did rally up towards this point, broke down, rallied, broke down, and then just going sideways. So let's look at cotton. Yes, we, very similar here, we got towards the previous highs, we kind of took out the previous highs, but it looks like momentum has stalled at this point. We could be heading back towards the middle of the bullish band, roughly 0 0.8583. And uh, that has proven to be supportive. You can see it here, it rallies. You see rallies here and so on and so on. So if we were to break below the middle of the bullish band, then we could drop towards the bottom at uh, 0 0.8280. And um, at the moment, it looks like 0 0.90 will be the target here. Even though we fall down, we'll probably rally to the upside. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is a bullish, the CASIC is flat, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at Kukoa. Yes, so this has uh, tried to rally up towards the 50 moving average and has been rejected. Now uh, we're still at the 20 exponential. We are still trading within this square of roughly the highs here of uh, 2540 and the lows here of 2325. So 20 exponential has offered resistant, 50 moving average also resistant. And then if we break above those, then we have the 200 moving average here and then the previous highs. At the moment, it still looks like we're in a gradual downtrend. If you put a line here and line here, it looks like we're heading towards 2250 in the long run if this doesn't uh, turn around uh, significantly in the in the next few trading days. Yeah, it's been an absolutely horrible market to trade for a really long time. So let's look at uh, wheat. So wheat is doing the same thing. We rallied yesterday, uh, rallied yet again today, and then got completely hammered. It looks like we are just bouncing in between the 200 and the 20 exponential in towards this corner here. And then we are going to have a rally to the upside or rally to the downside. If we look at market like similar to this, and then also similar to this, then it kind of looks like we are heading into this corner um, and then we have a crossing of those to moving average. And at some point, we are rallying to the upside or rallying to the downside. And um, yes, 
it is not until we have a move of, uh, of other directions that that this becomes interesting. Otherwise, it's a complete gamble at this point. Taking indicators are also all over the place. So it's just a waiting game at this point. So hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.